Hello! In this ECE 102 lesson video, we'll discuss logic in Excel. Optional examples workbook again, but now focusing on the worksheet titled Logical Statements. Up top, we see the basic information. Excel has several data types that can be filled into cells. You've already worked with numbers, text, and cell formulas. The focus now is on a data type called Boolean, or logical. This data type is the simplest possible. It holds values that are either true, 1, or false, 0. To define a value in this data type, you can simply type the word true or false, and Excel will automatically interpret it. But more often, we generate a true or false value from some sort of a logic operator. The basic three logic operations are NOT, AND, and OR. They work just as the language implies. NOT simply reverses the logic of the value. For example, NOT TRUE gives FALSE. We can see that down here in the table. Cell D19 holds a cell formula. It starts with an equal sign, calls the NOT operator, and references cell B19. So, we see that not true is false. And logic will only output true if both inputs are true. If any one of the inputs is false, the output is false. We can see how the operator is called in cell E19. It references both cells B19 and C19. Side note, we could reference more than two cells with an AND operation if we wanted to. This column shows us that the only time the AND output is true is when both inputs are true. Contrast that with OR logic, which will output true if at least one input is true. The only time it outputs false is when both inputs are false. We can see that behavior in the truth table. The way we call the function should come as no surprise in the cell formula. This whole bottom section adds just one new command, if. Notice how in the top half, the only results that are displayed are true or false. When we use a logic operator, that is all we can get it to display. But sometimes we'd like a different word or number to display. In that case, we use the if command. In this table, the middle columns show the exact same information as each other, just in different forms. The left half uses a logical operator and thus only shows true or false. The right half uses the if function and thus shows custom words. To answer the question, is x positive, what comparison should we do? We should check if the cell holding the x value is greater than 0. You can see that written here in the cell formula. Now for the if command. The cell formula looks much lengthier, but the heart is still the same. We see the exact same comparison. Is cell B43 greater than 0? After that, I type two strings. The first is the word that is displayed if the comparison is true. The second is the word that is displayed if the comparison is false. All of this is contained inside parentheses following the if command. This is the structure you'll always see. Equals, if, parentheses, logic statement, value of true, value of false. Now let's look at the rightmost columns. Here we ask the question, are both x and y positive? Because we want to know if all of the input conditions are true, then we should use the AND operator. This makes a lot of sense because I said AND when reading the question. So this is what the cell formula looks like. We compare each of the values to zero, and see if both are greater. What does this look like within an IF command? Again, the logic is identical. Notice the exact same AND statement in the first field. After that come the words to write if true, and lastly if false. This is a relatively simple example, but it is a great introduction to nesting functions inside of other functions. This AND function gets evaluated first, and its result is then used to control the IF function. Understanding these basic logic operations is foundational to using Excel effectively. If you want Excel to be a powerful tool in your tool belt, spend time practicing the use of these commands.